Unlock your limitless potential. Connect, create, educate. Welcome back, Cosmic Collective, to the Mystic Academy, where we will be exploring our inner light. Prompt number 24, the star card, card 17 in the Rider Waite Smith deck. Hope and infinity are two of the themes, and the key words include beauty, guide, hope, tranquility, cosmic, purity, insight, harmony, trust, serenity, irrigate, conduit, openness, and joy. Let's explore the symbols found within the original star card. First, we see a central figure in the star card, uh, which is a naked woman who's kneeling by the water. She has one foot in the water and one foot on land. This duality symbolizing her connection to both the natural earth realm as well as the watery realm, uh, meaning the subconscious. She represents truth as she has nothing to hide and nothing to fear. Her nudity signifies eternal youth and beauty and is associated with traits like optimism and good health. The maiden combines aspects of both the empress and the high priestess that we explored in cards at the beginning of the major arcana. The jugs of water that she's holding um, in her hand signify that she is pouring both life, renewal, and a form of cleansing, symbolizing a replenishment of lost resources and having hope and faith, which is such a lovely symbol after we've just explored the tower energy. You'll also notice that above the woman, there is one large star and seven smaller stars surrounding it. Now that large star represents the North Star, which guides travelers. And it could also be associated with the Star of Bethlehem from the Christian tradition. The seven smaller stars correspond with the seven heavenly bodies known as the Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. We also can notice in the landscape, we see a tree uh, representing life growth and connection to nature, a bird with a long beak perching on top of that tree, which communicates communication, freedom, and spiritual insight. There's also a mountain in the distance signifying challenges from the past and the path of the river leading beyond it suggesting that hope and overcoming obstacles. The blue background represents that cosmic and spiritual dimension. And we also notice the water flowing into a pool by the woman's feet. Five rivulets emerging from that pool, representing the five senses and that flow of intuition. Can you tell why I might like this card quite a bit? Now, the pool and rivulets symbolize spiritual receptivity, inspiration, and inner guidance, meditation, and mindfulness. And it encourages us to have faith, stay hopeful, and trust in the divine guidance leading us through life's challenges. The star energy is the tarot's first celestial body. The moon, sun, and world card will soon follow, and they represent the universe and the influence of the planets and stars on us. The star card is a glowing light, 
illuminating the darkness after we've recalled the temptuous devil and tower card. The star is that silence after the fury. A soothing soul with peace after a big storm. Representing an artist, communing as a muse, with creativity flowing from a wellspring of inspiration and the gentle tide of hope. When the star speaks, she says, embrace me and bask in the cooling gentle replenishment offered. You have faced a difficult challenge and you have proven your strength. I am that calm after the storm, flowing through you to refresh you and cleanse anything which no longer serves you. You have many reasons to be hopeful now. So as we uh, investigate or inspect this uh, cosmic perspective of the star energy, I wanted to really highlight the bright prospects of hope and rejuvenation. And so I tried to embed that in the imagery here. Now, notice that we do see an emaciated looking mermaid who seems to be washed up on shore. Now, the mermaid's fins are kind of dusting the sand and she looks longingly toward her new path on land. A surreal oceanscape including green sand and purple water over an escape from reality. They offer an escape from reality and sort of alternative dimension. Also notice there is a glowing orb above the horizon and seven glowing stars around that orb. And it appears that we have finally found ourselves back on land after a long trip throughout the cosmos. There is a Mockingjay, which is a symbol found in the Hunger Games trilogy, if you're familiar with that. And that Mockingjay is centered between the two lanterns of replenishment. So as opposed to the jugs, I used lanterns. Now, we also see an overpouring of abundance after that mermaid's torture journey. She's so thin because she just went through it, you all. Now, uh, we see an overpouring of abundance, and the star represents that inspired grace as a conduit of harmony, hope, and love. And she represents an excellent balance of channeled inspiration. So, my invitation to you is to open yourself to unity consciousness and allow yourself to be vulnerable and accept the guidance you find on the way. In honor of this energy, I wanted to share with you a series of poems that I created called the Salty Seabed Series. Now, this prompt actually helped me kind of complete the series. I thought it was finished. And then, you know, it's taken me years to create these prompts and this artwork and do all the research on these tarot cards. So what I want to share with you, and I'll link it, um, is an option to purchase the Salty Seabed series on uh, Amazon. Uh, I think you can actually even get it for free on Kindle, which kind of bums me out since I did so much work on it. But either way, if you're interested in taking a look at it, I will provide a link. And I'm going to share with you the poem I wrote as I was walking at the park. And it just like flashed as a beam of inspiration. So I'm going to share that with you and please comment below if it resonates or perhaps you want to share with me how it made you feel. And uh, thank you so much for taking the time to listen to my content. I'm really grateful and I can't wait to see what you do for prompt 24.
salty sea, spit me from your flowing tide. Release me to land. Let me use my dancing feet to print the sandy shore. Exfoliate this hardened heart. Smooth my edges and make me new. Stable, anchored breath, longing for change. Humble me in your ebbing cradle. I am the house of light. I am glowing bright, a neon passenger, haunted by tidal waves and oil spills. Invite me to the bonfire where my people have been waiting, holding my spot in the circle. I will let you swallow me. I will float or sink, but the gasping must cease. I am not afraid. I'm tired of fighting. I'm hungry for the horizon. I dove, I swam, I choked on the salt, became one with your fend demons. My land forsake me and so I swam instead. And there is no debt when you become the current. I am free from all space and time. I surrendered to the vastness, exalted in the eternity of flow. I am waterlogged, wrinkled. I am woman. You aged me and you cleansed me. You tortured me, and then you soothed me. So now, release me once again. Unlock your limitless potential. Connect, create, educate.